Hello everyone, welcome to our compilation video. In case you missed any of the last 20 quizzes, you can catch up here or else you can simply revise. Let us begin. The winds that blow from the subtropical high pressure belts towards the subpolar low pressure belts are known as westerlies. Westerlies or anti-trades or prevailing westerlies are prevailing winds from the west towards the east in the middle latitudes between 30 and 60 degrees latitude. They originate from high pressure areas in the horse latitudes and trend towards the poles and steer extratropical cyclones in this general manner. Gypsum, chalk and limestone are examples of what? They are all sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are rocks formed from sediment. They deposited over time and often show layers which can be seen in cliffs. Other types of rocks are igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks. Sediments are usually formed from matter which fall to the bottom of oceans and lakes. Tugela is an example of what? The correct answer is waterfall. Tugela Falls is a complex of seasonal waterfalls located in the Drakensburg of Royal Natal National Park in KwaZulu Natal Province of Republic of South Africa. Ope River flows in which of the following region? Correct answer is Asia and Russia. You can see on the map that op flows through Russia and into Kazakhstan, then China. The Ob River is a major river in the western Siberia, Russia, and is the world's seventh longest river. It forms at the confluence of the Bia and Khartoum rivers, which have their origins in the Altai Mountains. It is the westernmost of the three great Siberian rivers that flow into the Arctic Ocean. Which of was the old name of Cape Kennedy? The correct answer is Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral from the Spanish Cabo Canaveral is a cape in the Brevard County of Florida, United States, near the center of the state's Atlantic coast. It is now known as Cape Kennedy. Uh, it, between six, 1963 and 1973, it was when the name was changed into Cape Kennedy. It lies east of Merritt Island, separated from it by the Banana River. It was discovered by the Spanish uh, conqueror Juan Ponce de Leon in 1513. India has presently only one diamond boss, which is located at the following place. The correct answer is Mumbai. It is known as Bharat Diamond Boss. It is the world's largest diamond boss or a diamond exchange and is located in Mumbai, India. It is spread over a 20 acre plot. The complex is home to some 2,500 small and large diamond traders, in addition to the custom house, banks and other service providers who cater to gems and jewellery trade. Which of the following authorities maintains the Rural Infrastructure Development Fund or RIDF? This is done by NABAD. RIDF was set up in 1995-96 for financing ongoing rural infrastructure projects. The program of linking self-help groups of the rural poor with the banking system was launched as a pilot project in which year? The correct answer is 1992. A self-help group is a financial intermediary committee usually composed of 10 to 20 local women or men. Most self-help groups are located in India, though some can be found in other countries, especially in South Asia and Southeast Asia. The Kisan credit card scheme is being implemented in all the states and union territories by who? Correct answer is by all commercial banks, regional rural banks, state cooperative banks, central cooperative banks and primary agricultural cooperative societies. The Kisan credit scheme is a credit scheme introduced in August 1998 by Indian banks. This model scheme was prepared by the National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development on the recommendation of R.V. Gupta Committee to provide term loans and agricultural needs. Technology Upgradation Fund Scheme or TUFS or TUFS is related to which of the following industries? The correct answer is textiles. The Technology Upgradation Fund scheme was introduced by the government in 1999 to facilitate the new and appropriate technology for making the textile industry globally competitive and to reduce the capital cost for the textile industry. The original constitution of India had how many schedules? The correct answer is 8. 
Schedules are lists in Constitution of India that categorizes and tabulates bureaucratic activities and policy of the government. Indian Constitution had originally eight schedules. The ninth was added via First Amendment Act, while tenth schedule was first added by 35th Amendment, which made Sikkim an associate state. Once Sikkim became a state in India, the tenth schedule was repealed, but later added once again by 52nd Amendment Act, 1985 in context with the anti-defection law. 11th schedule was added by 73rd amendment and has list of subjects under the Panchayat Raj institutions or rural local government. 12th schedule was added by 74th amendment and enlists the subjects under municipalities or urban local government. The 9th schedule was added to the constitution in which year? Correct answer is 1951. The ninth schedule to the Indian Constitution was introduced through Article 31b by the first Constitution Amendment Act 1951. The object of the ninth schedule was to save land reform laws enacted by various states from being challenged in the courts to facilitate agrarian reforms of the government of India. Which among the following schedules is related to the responsibilities of municipalities? If you see the diagram or the image, on your right hand side, you can see that this is a, a abbreviation, not an abbreviation, it's a shortcut way of memorizing what each amendment, sorry, which schedule, each schedule stands for what exactly. So uh, there are 12 schedules in the Indian Constitution and you can see that tiers of old PM, each letter stands for what each schedule uh, covers. So if you go to the 12th schedule, which is M, it is municipalities, which means that the correct answer here would be 12th schedule. Who among the following reserves the right to initiate the constitutional amendment? The correct answer is Parliament of India. Part 20 of the Constitution of India has only one article, that is Article 368, that deals with the amendment of constitution. As per this article, Parliament may add, amend or repeal any provision of the Constitution as per the procedure laid down for this purpose. However, in Kesavananth Bharati case 1973, the Supreme Court has ruled that the Parliament cannot amend those provisions which constitute the basic structure of the Constitution. The right to constitutional remedies in India is available to whom of the following? The correct answer is any person for enforcing any of the fundamental rights conferred on all persons. Since the fundamental rights under Article 14, 21, 21A, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and 28 are available to both citizens as well as non-citizens who are not enemy aliens, any violation of these will attract enforcement of Article 32 of the Indian Constitution on direction by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. The reasonableness of the restrictions placed on fundamental rights is decided by which of the following? The correct answer is the courts. The court is called upon to ascertain the reasonableness of the restriction and not of the law which permits the restriction. A law may be reasonable, but the restriction imposed by it on the exercise of freedom may not be reasonable. Which among the following fundamental rights is available to Indian citizens but not to aliens? Correct answer is freedom of expression and speech. The Indian Constitution guarantees various fundamental rights to an Indian citizen. One such right is freedom of speech and expression under Article 191A of the Constitution. Freedom of expression enables a person to express his opinions freely with certain reasonable restrictions. Which among the following fundamental rights has been deleted by 44th Amendment Bill? The correct answer is right to property. By the 44th Constitutional Amendment Act in 1978, the right to property was taken away from the category of fundamental rights and made as a re legal right. Article 191F, which guarantees the citizens the right to acquire, hold and dispose of property and Article 31 relating to compulsory acquisition of property have been omitted. It was, however, in be ensured that the Removal of property from the list of fundamental rights would not affect the right of minorities to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. A person, when decides to make an application to acquire citizenship of India by registration, must have finished his living in India for how many years? 
The correct answer is 5 years. As per the provisions of Section 51G of the Citizenship Act 1955, a person who is registered as an overseas citizen of India for five years and is residing in India for one year out of the above five years is eligible to apply for Indian citizenship. Due to an excessive number of refugees incoming to India from Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, the Citizenship Act 1955 was amended and citizenship by birth was conferred on those who have been born on or after January 26, 1950 and Jan June 30, 1987. Indian nationality law largely follows the jus sanguinis or citizenship by right of blood as opposed to jus soli which is citizenship by right of birth within the territory. The president of India is termed the first citizen of India. Who among the following acts as agent of government of India in respect of a membership of IMF? The correct answer is RBI. In India, the focus of IMS work is to facilitate the flow of information between Government of India and the Reserve Bank of India, then train officials from RBI and national and state governments. A panel was set up by RBI in 2006 under SC Gupta. The panel gave its recommendation on what? The correct answer is regulation of money lenders. The RBI constituted a technical group headed by S.C. Gupta to review the efficacy of the existing legislative framework governing money lending and its enforcement machinery in different states in the interest of rural households. In which of the following are parked all receipts and payments which are in the nature of deposit accounts with the government such as provident funds, small savings, etc.? Correct answer is public account. The public account is constituted under Article 266.2 of the Constitution. All other public money, other than those covered under Consolidated Fund of India, received by or on behalf of the Government of India, are credited to the public account of India. Apart from revenue deficit and budget deficit, the Indian government started using one more concept of deficit known as primary deficit, from which of the following budgets? Correct answer is 1993 to 1994. The primary deficit is defined as the difference between current government spending on goods and services and the total current revenue from all type of taxes, net of transfer payments. The financial bill is introduced normally every year. A finance bill is a money bill as defined in Article 110 of the Constitution. The proposals of the government to levy of new taxes modification of the existing tax structure or continuance of the existing tax structure beyond the period approved by Parliament are submitted to the Parliament through this bill. Which among the following sentences is correct? In the given options, option B, which states personal income tax is levied on individuals and proceeds are shared between states and central government is correct. So, if you're less than 60 years of age and your total annual gross income exceeds rupees 2.5 lakhs, or if you're a senior citizen that is above 60 years of age and below 80 years of age and your total annual gross income exceeds 3 lakhs, you're liable to pay taxes to the government. What was the highest rate of income tax in India before 1975? The highest it has ever reached is 97.25. Over the last 70 years, India and its taxpayers have come a long way from the 97.75% being the highest income tax rate to 30% and from 11 tax labs to 3. In which year Government of India imposed minimum alternate tax on the companies that escape the corporate tax by using provisions of exemptions, deduction and depreciation etc.? Correct answer is 1996 to 97. All companies that record a book profit shall have to pay a minimum alternate tax at 18.5% plus surcharge and cess as applicable under the Companies Act. Thus, MAT is a way of making companies pay a minimum amount of tax. In which year SMIRA or Small and Medium Enterprises Rating Agency was established? The correct answer is 2005. SMIRA is a ratings and research agency exclusively set up for micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs in India. It provides ratings which enable MSME SMEs to raise bank loans at competitive rates of interest. 
Smira now operates as a separate division under Acquit Ratings and Research Limited. Acquit Ratings is a full service credit rating agency approved by Reserve Bank of India and registered with Securities Exchange Board of India. Which among the following All India Development Finance Institution was established first? The correct answer is IFCI. IFCI, which was previously Industrial Finance Corporation of India, is a non-banking finance company in the public sector. Established in 1948 as a statutory corporation, IFCI is currently a company listed on BSE and NSE. IFCI manages seven number of subsidiaries and one associate under its fold. Which among the following is not a character of underdeveloped economy? The correct answer is working force largely in the tertiary sector. The eight characteristics of an underdeveloped economy are low per capita income, inequitable distribution of wealth and income, predominance of agriculture, deficiency of capital, high rate of population growth, unemployment and underemployment, a dualistic economy, and a technical backwardness. Which among the following is not an indicator of Human Development Index? The correct answer is National Income. The Human Development Index is a statistic composite index of life expectancy, education and per capita income indicators, which are used to rank countries into four tiers of human development. National income does not figure into it. India is an underdeveloped economy. Which among the following is not a direct reason for this? The correct answer is the coexistence of private and public sector. The coexistence of large public sector with big private sector has usually transformed economy into mixed ones. Industrial policies of 1948 and 1956 formulated by the Indian government have made the provision of such coexistence. Some basic and heavy industries are being run under public sector. Which among the following is not an objective of long-term planning in India? The correct answer is growth in infrastructure. The long-term goals for India were economic development, increased employment, self-sufficiency, economic stability, social welfare and services, regional development, comprehensive development to reduce economic inequalities, social justice and increase in standard of living. Growth in infrastructure does not figure in that list. Among the environment protection, flood control, fertilizers and diesel, which can be classified as merit goods for the purpose of subsidies? The correct answer is environment protection and flood control only. So what are merit goods? A merit good is a product that society values and judges that people should have regardless of their ability to pay. For example, education. We expect even the poor to get educated even if they can't afford schools. Consumption of married goods is often argued to generate positive externalities where the social benefit from consumption exceeds the private benefit. Which among the following is a clear indicator of inflation? Correct answer is lower growth of prices than before. So, inflation refers to the sustained increase in prices of goods and services. Um, from year to year resulting in the decline in purchasing power of a country's currency. Which among the following is not a feature of India's small-scale industries in general? The correct answer is efficient marketing system. If you look at the options here, we can already tell that marketing system, uh, making an efficient marketing system is not a part of our small-scale industries in general. Small-scale industries refer to those small entrepreneurs who are engaged in production, manufacturing or service at a micro scale. Small scale industries play a focal role in the economic and social development of India in post-independence era. Which among the following is not a reason of low agricultural productivity in India on the basis of per worker and per hectare of land? The correct answer is maximum capital base. So at times, due to improper irrigation facility, farmer can produce one crop only in a year. Also, Indian soil has many problems like erosion, water logging, nitrogen deficiency and swamps. However, the capital base is not a part of the problem at the moment. Which among the following is not a quantitative credit control measure by Reserve Bank of India? 
among these options the correct answer is discriminatory rates of interest on certain advances credit control is an important tool used by reserve bank of india a major weapon of the monetary policy used to control the demand and supply of money liquidity in the economy such a method is used by rbi to bring economic development along with stability which among the following is not a liability of a bank the correct answer is security holding as financial intermediaries between the customer and the endeavor that is it is looking to fund banks accept deposits for which they are obligated to pay interest which is their liability and offer loans for which they receive interest which is their asset in addition to loans security portfolios compose bank assets however banks are not responsible for security holdings which among the following is most electronegative element the correct answer is fluorine electronegativity is an atom's relative ability to remove an electron pair in the formation of a covalent bond that is an atom's ability to steal a pair of electrons from the outer ring of another atom to make a covalent bond across the periodic table that is from left to right this gets harder to do due to an increase in attraction forces between the nuclear charge and the outer electrons therefore across the periodic table more electronegativity energy is required to remove those electrons down the periodic table from top to bottom attraction forces between the electrons in the outer shell and the central nuclear charge decreases this makes it easier for electrons to be stolen so there is less electronegativity required fluorine is the highest and furthest to the right making it the most electronegative helium and neon etc have full outer shells so aren't involved in covalent bonds at all that is they are noble gases which among the following is the property of tungsten which makes it eligible to use in the bulbs correct answer is its highest melting point the electric heating is also used to produce light as an electric bulb here the filament must retain as much of the heat generated as is possible so that it gets very hot and emits light it must not melt at such high temperature a strong metal with high melting point such as tungsten it has a melting point of 3380 degree celsius that's well above 3000 it is used for making bulb filament the filament should be thermally isolated as much as possible using insulating support the bulbs are usually filled with chemically inactive nitrogen and argon gases to prolong the life of the filament most of the power consumed by the filament appears as heat but a small part of it is in the form of light radiated froth and foams are example of which of the following correct answer is gas suspended in liquid froth is a bubbly substance that usually forms on the surface of a liquid that is uh, when you boil milk for too long it can also be called foam however foam can be other things as well for example rubber foam is a sponge like stuff that you fill sofas and pillows with which among the following was the first artificially produced element correct answer is technetium technetium is a chemical element with the symbol of tc an atomic number of 43 it is the lightest element whose isotopes are all radioactive none of them are stable excluding the fully ionized state of 97 tc duralumin which is used in the making of aeroplanes is an alloy consisting of what correct answer is aluminium copper manganese and magnesium Aircraft manufacturers use high-strength duralumin, principally alloy 7075 of aluminium, to strengthen aluminium aircraft structures. Aluminium alloy 7075 has copper at the rate of 1.6 percent, magnesium of 2.5 percent, and zinc of 5.6 percent, added for ultimate strength. But the copper content makes it very difficult to wield. As per Avogadro's hypothesis, equal volumes of different gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. So Avogadro's hypothesis states that two samples of gas of equal volume at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. It allows chemists to predict the behavior of ideal gases. Amedeo Avogadro made the hypothesis in 1811 in an essay submitted to the Journal de Physique. 
the process of purifying water by spraying water onto the bed of stones where microorganisms live so that the microorganisms feed on the pathogens in water and can make the water free from harmful pathogens is called biofilter method. A successful biofilter is much more than a machine. For example, aquarium biofilters work by letting organisms break down waste, just like in nature. A biological filtration system provides several phases for microorganisms to grow in the tank and can include plants and small invertebrate animals. And jewelry was left exposed to atmosphere for some time and it became coated with green carbonate. The jewelry is made up of which of the following? Correct answer is copper. So this green thing is copper carbonate. Verdigris is the common name for the green pigment obtained through the application of acetic acid to copper plates or the natural patina form when copper, brass or bronze is weathered and exposed to air or sea water over a period of time. When we buy a jewellery of 22 carat gold, this means that we are getting a purity of gold with 91.67%. 24 carat gold contains 24 part pure gold, 22 carat contains 22 parts pure gold and 2 parts of other metals added as alloy. 18 carat gold contains 18 parts pure gold with 6 parts of other metals. Within their respective spheres, the union and the state legislatures are made supreme and they should not enroach on the sphere reserved for the other. This concept is known as which of the following? The correct answer is doctrine of pit and substance. Pit and substance means the true nature of law. The real subject matter is challenged and not its incidental effect on another field. The doctrine has been applied in India also to provide a degree of flexibility in the otherwise rigid system of distribution of powers. Which among the following state does not have a bicameral legislature? Among the given options, West Bengal does not have a bicameral legislature. The seven states that do have bicameral legislature are Bihar, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Which of the following states was joined to Dominion of India in a signing of Instrument of Accession on October 26, 1947? The correct answer is Jammu and Kashmir. Immediately after independence, a major column of armed men from Pakistan had invaded Kashmir and they were nearly successful in capturing Srinagar. Confronted with the chances of losing Kashmir to Pakistan, Maharaja Hari Singh requested help from India. Immediately, Patel's aide V.B. Menon arrived in Srinagar and told the Maharaja that India could take action only if Kashmir acceded to India. It is widely believed that the Maharaja wanted to keep his independence but reluctantly acceded to India due to the grave situation created by the Pakistani invaders. Thus, on October 26, 1947, Maharaja Hari Singh signed the instrument of accession. Which among the following is not correct regarding the Article 352? Correct answer is, if national emergency is proclaimed on the ground of armed rebellion, then it automatically extends to Jammu and Kashmir. This is not correct. So what is uh, Article 352? So national emergency can be declared on the basis of external aggression or armed rebellion in the whole of India or a part of its territory. So this is what Article 352 states. Such an emergency was declared in India in 1962 during the Indochina War, in 1971 during the India-Pakistan War and 1975 when it was declared by then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. At the time of commencement of Indian constitution, all states of Union of India were put in four parts, A, B, C, D, later reorganized and reduced to two categories, states and union territories in 1956. Which of the following was the only member of D? Correct answer is Andaman and Nicobar Island. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, one of the seven union territories of India, comprising of 572 islands, of which 37 are inhibited, are a group of islands at the juncture of the Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea. On 1st August 1974, the Nicobar Islands were hived off into another revenue district with district headquarters at Kar Nicobar under the Deputy Commissioner. In 1982, the post of Lieutenant Governor 
was created to replace the chief commissioner as the head of administration. The islands sent one representative to Lok Sabha from its Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The following are called scheduled areas as per the Indian constitution. Among the given options, tribal inhibited areas which are located in other parts of India other than Northeast India are called scheduled areas. Tribal inhibited areas which are located in the other parts of India than Northeast India comprise of scheduled areas Tribal areas of Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram are separately dealt with the provisions given under 5th schedule. If certain cases required to take a decision regarding Constitution of India, then which court has the power to do so? Only the Supreme Court of India can take decisions about the Constitution. Parliament, although passed the 24th Amendment in 1971 to abrogate the Supreme Court ruling in the Golaknath case, it amended the constitution to provide explicitly that parliament has the power to amend any part of the constitution including the provisions related to fundamental rights. But uh, later it was uh, decreed that the pa parliament can only pass laws regarding the constitution which does not amend the basic structure of the constitution on a whole. Indian Lokpal is synonymous to the institution of ombudsman existing in which countries? So this was taken from Scandinavian countries. An ombudsman is an official usually appointed by government who investigates complaints usually lodged by private citizens against businesses, financial institutions or government departments or other public entities and attempts to resolve the conflicts or concerns raised. To deal with the common problems of Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram, a Northeastern Council was set up in which year? The correct answer is 1971. The Northeastern Council is a statutory advisory body established in 1971 by the Northeastern Council Act 1971 for three key objectives. They are balanced development of the Northeastern region, effecting better interstate coordination, and maintaining security and public order in the region. The council consists of eight member states of the northeastern region, which are Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. In 2002, Sikkim became the eighth member state of the council. The secretariat or headquarters of the council is located at Shillong in Meghalaya. Which country was earlier known as Formosa? The correct answer is Taiwan. The Republic of Formosa was a short-lived republic that existed on the island of Taiwan in 1895 between the formal session of Taiwan by the Qing Dynasty of China to the Empire of Japan by the Treaty of Shimonoseki and its being taken over by the Japanese troops. Besides refinance assistant, which is the major function of Nabad? It gives loans to who? The correct answer is banks and state governments which are channeled to the rural sector. So NABAD does some refinancing but its major function is mainly to help out banks and state governments to help uplift the rural sector. So NABAD has been instrumental in grounding rural social innovations and social enterprises in the rural hinterlands. It has in the process partnered with about 4,000 partner organizations in grounding many of the interventions be it SIG banks, which, which are self-help group banks, linkage program, tree-based tribal communities, livelihoods, initiative, watershed approach in soil and water conservation, increasing crop productivity initiative through lead uh, crop initiative or dissemination of information flow to agrarian communities through farmer clubs. Which among the following is correct full form of NASDAQ? The correct answer is National Association of Security Dealers Automated Quotations. A NASDAQ or the NASDAQ stock market is an American stock exchange and the second largest stock exchange in the world by market capitalization behind only the New York Stock Exchange which is also located in the same city. What is WDM in relation to Bombay Stock Exchange? The correct answer is wholesale debt market. A wholesale debt market is where the investors are mostly banks, financial institutions, the Reserve Bank of India itself, primary dealers, insurance companies, microfinancers, corporates and FIIs. 
which among the following is not a function of non-banking financial company or NBFC? The correct answer is term deposits. A non-banking financial company is a company that was registered under the Companies Act of 1956 of India, engaged in the business of loans and advances, acquisition of shares, stock bonds, higher purchase insurance business or chit fund business, but does not include any institution whose principal business includes agriculture, industrial activity or the sale, purchase or construction of immovable property. An instrument traded at US exchanges representing a fixed number of shares of a foreign company that is traded in the foreign country is called American Depository Receipt. An American Depository Receipt is a negotiable security that represents securities of a company that trades in the US financial market. Which of the following are Indian research stations at Antarctica? Correct answer is Dakshin Gangotri and Maitri. So, um, first option is correct, but it's the second option as both of them are included. The third option includes Himadri, uh, which is incorrect because Himadri is actually in the Arctic. In which of the following state, Sunapera Sanctuary is located? The correct answer is Orissa. Sunapera Wildlife Sanctuary is a proposed tiger reserve located in the Nuapara district of Orissa, adjoining Chhattisgarh. It has a total area of 500 kilometers square. The sanctuary harbors a great diversity of wildlife habitats with a vast plateau and canyons with 11 waterfalls. Ossetia is a point of contention between which of the following two nations? Correct answer is Russia and Georgia. A point of contention as in both of them are fighting over it. So Ossetia is an ethno-linguistic region located on both sides of Greater Caucasus Mountains, largely inhibited by Ossetians. Ethnolinguistic as in ethnicity and languages uh, are different. So they identify as Ossetians uh, on the basis of the language they speak and their ethnicity. The Ossetian language is a part of the Eastern Iranian branch of the Indo-European languages family. The Ossetian speaking area south of the main Caucasus ridge is recognized by most countries as within the borders of Georgia but under the control of the Russian-backed de facto government of the Republic of South Ossetia. The northern portion of the region consists of the Republic of North Ossetia, Alenia, within the Russian Federation. So the north part is uh, within Georgia. The south part has been taken over by the Russian-backed government of Republic of South Ossetia. Who among the following has written Gandhi's emissary? The correct answer is Sudhir Ghosh. In 1946, at the age of 29, Sudhir Ghosh was chosen by Mahatma Gandhi to act as unofficial emissary between the British Labour government and India in the delicate negotiation which resulted in the country's independence. His unique position enabled him to give the world a moving and informed account of the principal actors in the drama that led to the division of India and Pakistan and the creation of a parliamentary democracy in India. What was the correct rank of Baladhikarana in the Gupta age? Baladhikarana was the head of army in the Gupta age. In contrast to the Mauryan Empire, the Guptas introduced several military innovations to Indian warfare via their contact with steppe nomads and Hellenes. Chief amongst these was the use of heavy cavalry archers and heavy sword cavalry. The heavy cavalry formed the core of the Gupta army and were supported by the traditional Indian army elements of elephants and light infantry. Kalashuri Empire is related to which of the following modern area? The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh. The Kalachuris were an Indian dynasty that ruled in West Central India between 6th and 7th century. They are also known as Haihas or the early Kalachuris to distinguish them from the later namesakes. The Kalachuri territory included present-day Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. What were the names of Ashoka's mother, wife and daughter? The correct answer is uh, Ashoka's mother was Suhadrangi, his wife was Mahadevi and his daughter was Sanghamitra. Ashoka the Great was born in 304 BC to Emperor Bindusara. Bindusara was the son of Emperor Chandragupta Maurya who was the founder of Maurya dynasty. Ashoka was the third emperor of Maurya dynasty and ruled Indian subcontinent from 262 to 238 BCE. He ruled for 36 years. 
He died at the age of 72 in 238 BC. Who among the following was the father of Harshavardhana? The correct answer is Prabhakar Vardhana. Prabhakar Vardhana was the king of Thanesar in northern India around the time of decline of the Gupta Empire. According to the historian Ramesh Chandra Majumdar, he was the first notable king of the Vardhana dynasty but the fourth ruler from the family who are also referred to as the Pushpabhutis. Which among the following was a gold coin issued in the Vijayanagar Empire of South India? Correct answer is Varaha. So Varaha was a gold coin whereas Tara was a silver coin and Kakini was a copper coin. In which year Hindu Mahasabha was established? Correct answer is 1915. Hindu Mahasabha was founded in 1915 by Madan Mohan Malviya. It worked with Arya Samaj and other Hindu organizations. It was directly linked with Rashtriya Swam Sevak Sangh founded in 1925 at Nagpur by K.B. Hegwar. The first All India Hindu Mahasabha conference was organized at Hardwar in 1950. The Sabha became more aggressive after 1929 and started propagating Hindu Rashtra, which was totally different from Gandhiji's Ram Rajya. A requirement imposed on banks to have a certain amount of capital in relation to their assets is called capital adequacy ratio. Capital adequacy ratio is also known as capital to risk assets ratio. It is the ratio of a bank's capital to its risks. National regulators track a bank's CAR to ensure that it can absorb a reasonable amount of loss and complies with statutory capital requirements. It is a measure of a bank's capital. Which among the following terms best describe a CHIT fund? Correct answer is a non-banking financial intermediary. A CHIT fund is a type of rotating savings and credit association system practiced in India. Chit fund schemes may be organized by financial institutions or informally among friends, relatives or neighbors. In some variations of chit funds, the savings are for a specific purpose. Which of the following vitamin is required for normal blood circulation? The correct answer is vitamin K. It is a fat-soluble vitamin and is mostly known for its function in blood coagulation. It was discovered in 1939 by Henry Dam who named the molecule vitamin K according to the Danish word for blood clotting, which is coagulation spelled with a K. Lac is the scarlet resinous secretion from insects. Lac is a scarlet resinous secretion of a number of species of lac insects, of which the most common is Caria lacca. Cultivation begins when a farmer gets a stick that contains eggs ready to hatch and ties it to the tree to be infested. Among globulin, albumin, gluten and collagen, which protein is abundant in eggs? The correct answer is albumin. Albumins are a family of globular proteins, the most common of which are the serum albumins. All the proteins of the albumin family are water-soluble, moderately soluble in concentrated salt solutions and experience heat denaturation. Which among the following plays a role in production of alcohol in beer? The correct answer is yeast. Alcohol, that is the metabolic product of yeast in the wine and beer making, is specifically produced by yeast during fermentation. Which of the following panel was established in 1988 by the World Meteorological Organization and the United Nations Environment Programme to evaluate the risk of climate change caused by human activity? The correct answer is Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. So this was a joint activity by World Meteorological Organization and United Nations Environment Programme and it was established in 1988. Uh, it is a body of United Nations dedicated to providing the world with an objective scientific view of climate change, its natural political and economic impacts and risks and possible response options. Which of the following system is maintained by Reserve Bank of India against printing of notes? The correct answer is minimum reserve system. So, uh, originally the assets of issue department were to cons uh, consist of not less than two-fifths of the gold or sterling securities, provided gold was not less than rupees 40 crores in value. So, this is the gold reserve that is mentioned. This was called proportional reserve system. The system changed in 1956. Since then, RBI is required to maintain a gold and foreign exchange reserves of Rs. 200 crore 
of which at least rupees 115 crore should be in gold. This is called the minimum reserve system. This system is still continuing. Many a times we read in the newspapers about the dollar rates of gold and silver expressed as dollar per ounce. Which among the following is a correct expression of international troy ounce in grams? Correct answer is 1 ounce or 1 troy ounce is 31.100 grams. So a regular ounce is 28.35 grams but troy ounce is 31.10 grams. And there isn't much of an overall difference between the two types of ounces. But when it comes to gold weight, that extra 2 or 3 grams affects the size of the finished product. Many times we read in newspapers about clean development mechanism, which among the following is not a correct sentence regarding this. So the correct, an incorrect statement here is that it is an arrangement under Geneva Protocol. Geneva Protocol is a war protocol. It doesn't have much to do with clean development mechanism. So the first two options are correct. So clean development mechanism is one of the flexible mechanisms defined in the Kyoto Protocol that provides for emissions reductions projects which generate certified emission reduction units which may be traded in emissions trading schemes. The hard part of a stem of a plant is because of its xylem. Xylem is one of the two types of transport tissues in vascular plants, phloem being the other. The basic function of xylem is to transport water from roots to stems and leaves but it also transports nutrients. Which among the following sentences correctly defines prime lending rate? Correct answer is the rate at which banks normally give loan to most favored customers. A prime rate or prime lending rate is an interest rate used by banks, usually the interest rate at which the banks lend to favored customers, that is those who have good credit scores. Some variable interest rates may be expressed as a percentage above or below prime rate. As we know that RBI reviews its monetary policy and makes adjustments in the interest rates. Which among the following will not happen if interest rates are reduced a little? Correct answer is increase the burden of the corporate. It will in fact decrease the corporate burden. To meet the credit requirement of which of the following groups is the most preferred route for microfinance? Correct answer is poor and weaker sections of the society. Um, loans to poor people by banks have many limitations, including lack of security and high operating costs. As a result, microfinance was developed as an alternative to provide loans to poor people with the goal of creating financial inclusion and equality. Which among the following is the correct definition of saving? The correct answer is total aggregate income less total aggregate consumption. So basically, whatever your income is, so if you're earning say 10,000 rupees a month and you are uh, consuming or spending 8,000 then the difference of uh, the both the amounts that which is 2,000 rupees is your total saving. Which among the following is not an objective of the government to bring stability in the Indian economy? Correct answer is ensure the growth of consumption. The objective of fiscal policy is to maintain the condition of full employment, economic stability and to stabilize the rate of growth. For an underdeveloped economy, the main purpose of fiscal policy is to accelerate the rate of capital formation and investment. So we want to increase our GDP. Which among the following is not an activity of money market? The correct answer is it provides facility of sale and purchase of foreign exchanges. As money uh, became a commodity, the money market became a component of the financial market for assets involved in short-term borrowing, lending, buying and selling with original maturities of one year or less. Trading in money markets is done over the counter and is wholesale. Arsal is related to which of the following? The correct answer is asset reconstruction. An asset reconstruction company is a specialized financial institution that buys uh, the non-performing assets or bad assets from a bank and financial institutions and helps banks to clean up their balance sheets. In other words, these are in the business of buying bad loans from banks. Which among the following is the correct definition of a share swap? The correct answer is a company taking over another and using its own stocks to pay for the acquired entity. So basically company A buys share, uh, shares of company B and in order to pay company B, they give them their own stocks that is their uh, company A's shares so it's an exchange of shares 
A share swap is an exchange of one equity based asset for another. During a merger or acquisition of a company, a stock swap provides an opportunity to pay with shares rather than with cash. In which year Ceylon was renamed as Sri Lanka? Correct answer is 1972. Ceylon was a British crown colony between 1815 and 1948. Initially, the area covered did not include Kingdom of Kandy, which was a protectorate from 1815, but from 1815 to 1948, the British possessions included the whole island of Ceylon, which is now the nation of Sri Lanka. Which of the following battles foiled Napoleon's scheme of invading England in 1805? The correct answer is Battle of Trafalgar. The Battle of Trafalgar was a naval engagement fought by the British Royal Navy against the combined fleets of the French and Spanish navies during the War of the Third Coalition of the Napoleonic Wars. The Treaty of Portsmouth brought an end to a war in 1905 fought between who? The correct answer is Russia and Japan. The Treaty of Portsmouth formally ended the 1904-1905 Russo-Japanese War it was signed on September 5, 1905, after negotiations lasting from August 6 to August 30 at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, Maine, United States. Abel Jansoon, who is known for the discovery of Tasmania and New Zealand in 1642, hailed from which of the following countries? The correct answer is Netherlands. Abel Jansoon Tasman was a Dutch seafarer, explorer and merchant best known for his voyages between 1642 and 1644 in the service of the Dutch East India Company. He was the first known European explorer to reach the islands of Van Diemen's Land and New Zealand and to sight the Fiji Islands. The struggle between opposing economic forces whose ultimate result is the emergence of a classless society highlights which among the following schools of thought? The correct answer is Marxism. Marxism is a theory and method of working class self-emancipation. As a theory, it relies on method of socio-economic analysis that views class relations and social conflict using a materialist interpretation of historical development and takes a dialectical view of social transformation. The Magna Carta was a charter of rights granted to the Englishman during 1215 AD by which of the following? The correct answer is King John II. Magna Carta is a Latin word which in English means Great Charter. It is the most important document of England signed on 15 June 1215 at Runnymede alongside the River Thames in the English county of Surrey. It had originated as a peace and truce treaty between King John and a group of rebellious barons within his kingdom. The document had written promises between King John and his subjects mentioning that the king will govern England and deal with its people according to the customs of feudal law. The Habeas Corpus Act of 1679 was drawn up during the reign of which of the following? Correct answer is King Charles II. The Habeas Corpus Act 1679 is an act of the Parliament of England passed during the reign of King Charles II to define and strengthen the ancient prerogative writ of Habeas Corpus whereby persons unlawfully detained can be ordered to be prosecuted before a court of law. Who among the following is well known as Little Corporal? The correct answer is Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French statesman and military leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and led several successful campaigns during the French Revolutionary Wars. He was the emperor of the French as Napoleon won from 1804 to 1814 and again briefly in 1815 during the Hundred Days. Bartolomeu Diaz was a Portuguese explorer connected with which of the following? The correct answer is Cape of Good Hope. Bartolomeu Diaz, a nobleman of the Portuguese royal household, was a Portuguese explorer. He sailed around the southernmost tip of Africa in 1488, the first to do so, setting up the route from Europe to Asia later on. Diaz is the first European during the Age of Discovery to anchor at what is present-day South Africa. The longest estuary is on which of the following rivers? The correct answer is Orb River. Gulf of Orb forms at the confluence of the Bia and Katoon rivers, which have their origins in the Alte Mountains. It is the westernmost of the three great Siberian rivers that flow into the Arctic Ocean, the other two being Yenisei River and the Lena River. 
The Gulf of Orb is the world's longest estuary. What is TURLS? The correct answer is a rocket launching station. TURLS stands for Tsumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station and it was established in 1962. Protection of wildlife comes under which of the following in India? The correct answer is both fundamental right and fundamental duty. When the constitution of India was adopted in 1950, the framers had not foreseen the importance of environmental preservation. However, it is now enshrined in Article 51 AG of the constitution that it shall be the fundamental duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment, including forests and wildlife. Which among the following does not come under fundamental duties of a citizen in India? The correct answer is to strive towards abolition of untouchability. Untouchability is abolished and its practice in any form is forbidden. So there is no need for us to uh, pr uh, strive towards abolition. It is already abolished and anyone who practices untouchability is punishable by law. What are fundamental duties? These are uh, defined as the moral obligations of all citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of India. These duties set out in Part 4A of the Constitution concern individuals and the nation. Who among the following said that directive principles of state policy are like a check on a bank payable at the convenience of the bank? The correct answer is Professor K.T. Shah. Professor K.T. Shah is known for his active role in the Constituent Assembly, responsible for framing the Indian Constitution. An alumnus of the London School of Economics, he was a socialist leader. Which among the following is correct regarding directive principles? The correct answer is positive injunctions. So positive injunction refers to an injunction that requires a positive act on the part of the defendant. The directive principle of state policies are rights defined in part 3 of the constitution applied irrespective of race, place of birth, religion, caste, creed or gender. They are enforceable by the court subject to specific restrictions. The directive principles of state policy are guidelines for framing the law by the government. Supreme Court ruled that the fundamental rights and directive principles are in fact supplementary to each other and together constitute an integrated scheme. This is known as what? The correct answer is doctrine of harmonization. So this is a doctrine that follows a very simple rule that every statute has made, been made for a purpose and specific intent as per law and it should be read as a whole and interpreted accordingly. So you cannot interpret these two separately, you have to interpret them together. Thus the provisions are so interpreted that the con conflict between the two statutes or its provisions is avoided and each of them is given effect. Which of the following committee made a recommendation that election commission should be a three-member body? The correct answer is Takunde committee. So Jai Prakash Narayan on behalf of the citizens for democracy had appointed a committee to study and report on scheme of electro uh, electoral reforms in 1974. The members of the committee were VM Tarkunde, MR Masai, etc. And it is known as either JP committee or Tarkunde committee. Apart from giving constitutional recognition to the municipalities, which amendment lays down that in every state, two district planning committees shall be constituted? Correct answer is 74th Amendment. The 74th Amendment and municipalities in India, Constitution 74th Amendment Act 1992, has introduced a new Part 9A in the Constitution, which deals with municipalities in Article 243P to 243ZG. This amendment, also known as Nagarpalika Act, came into force on 1st June 1993. Which among the following sentence is not correct? Correct answer here is that Part 9 related to Panchayats and Part 9A relates to municipalities is not correct. In fact, Part 9A is related to Panchayats and it, uh, it is also related to municipalities. The fundamental duties were incorporated in the Indian Constitution in which year? Correct answer is 1976. The fundamental duties of citizens were added to the constitution by the 42nd Amendment in 1976 upon the recommendation of Swaran Singh Committee that was constituted by the government earlier that year. Which among the following are called scavengers of the ecosystem? The correct answer is fungi and bacteria. Scavengers play an important role in the food web. They keep the ecosystem free of bodies of dead animals or carrions 
scavengers break down this organic material and recycled it into the ecosystem as nutrients. The name of Carl Landsteiner is associated with discovery of which of the following? Correct answer is human blood group. Carl Landsteiner was an Austrian biologist, physician and immunologist. He distinguished the main blood groups in 1900 having developed the modern system of classification of blood groups from his identification of the presence of agglutinins in the blood and identified with Alexander S. Wiener the rhesus factor in 1937, thus enabling physicians to transfuse blood without endangering the patient's life. Theory of natural selection was proposed by who? Correct answer is Darwin. Natural selection is the differential survival and reproduction of individuals due to differences in phenotype. It is a key mechanism of evolution, the change in the heritable traits characteristics of population over generations. There is no evidence of cultivation of which among barley, sugarcane, rice and field pea at any of the sites of Indus Valley. Correct answer is sugarcane. Crops that were grown include Wheat, barley, peas, melons and sesame. The civilization was the first to cultivate cotton for the production of cloth. Evidence of a game which was very similar to chess was found at which of the following sites at Indus Valley Civilization? Correct answer is Lothal. A complete set of terracotta games myth has been found in Lothal. Animal figures, pyramids with ivory handles and castle-like objects very similar to the chess set of Queen Harshakot in Egypt. Bhoga Kamas were religious given by the king to his favourites in pre-Maurya period including Purahitas or some Sittis. For the purpose of what? Correct answer is Enjarna. For example, Pava which is now Fazil Nagar is a city in ancient India at the time of Gautam Buddha. It was the city of Malyas which, was, uh, which the Buddha visited during his last journey going there from Bhoga Gama and staying in Kunda's mango grove. Gandhar art is a combination of which styles? Correct answer is Indian and Kushan. Gandhar art, style of Buddhist visual art that developed in what is now northwestern Pakistan and eastern Afghanistan between 1st century BCE and 7th century CE is a style of Greco-Roman origin, seems to have flourished largely during the Kushan dynasty and was contemporary with an important but dissimilar school of Kushan art at Mathura. Satyagraha was started by Gandhiji in 1919 to protest against what? Correct answer is Royal Act. In 1919, Gandhiji gave a call for Satyagraha against the Royal Act passed by the British. The act restricted the freedom of expression and strengthened police powers. Mahatma Gandhi along with other leaders strongly opposed this act. Who had become a member of Brahmosh Samaj in 1856? and founded his own breakaway Brahmo Samaj of India in 1866. Correct answer is Keshav Chandra Sen. Keshav Chandra Sen was an Indian Bengali philosopher and social reformer. Born a Hindu, he became a member of the Brahmo Samaj in 1856, but founded his own breakaway Brahmo Samaj of India in 1866, while the Brahmo Samaj remained under the leadership of Maharshi Devendrana Tagore. Which among the following is a correct definition of dollarization? The correct answer is when the inhabitants of a country use foreign currency in parallel to or instead of the domestic currency. The play Neil Darpan is associated with what? The correct answer is Indigo Revolt. Neil Darpan is a Bengali play written by Dinabandhu Mitra in 1858 to 1859. The play was essential to Neil Bidraha or indigo revolt of February March 1859 in Bengal when farmers refused to sow indigo in their fields as a protest against exploitative farming under the British Raj. Which city is hosting the conference on transformation of aspirational districts? The correct answer is New Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has addressed the conference on transformation of aspirational districts at the Dr. Ambedkar International Centre in New Delhi on 5th of January 2018, during the conference, which is being organized by Niti Ayo, the Prime Minister will be interacting. The Basava Sagar Dam is located in which state? 
The correct answer is Karnatak. The Basavasagar Dam has been built across the Krishna River at Siddhapur village in Bijapur district of Karnataka. The reservoir that it impounds is known as Basavasagar and has a total storage capacity of 37.965 TMCFT with 30.5 life storage. The full reservoir level is 492.25 meters and the minimum drawdown level is 481. The dam is 29 meters high and over 10 kilometers long and has 30 gates for water release. Which among the following may not be called a consequence of 1857 revolts? The correct answer is Hindus and Muslims began to be appeased equally. This is not true. The Indian rebellion of 1857 had diverse political, economic, military, religious and social causes that led to it. The spark that led to a mutiny in several sepoy companies was the issue with new, new gunpowder cartridges for the Enfield rifle in February 1857. Uh, it hurt the religious sentiments of both Hindus and Muslims and hence it led to this mutiny. Which among the following was a reason for eruption of Farazi movement? The correct answer is oppressive policy of the company towards Muslim tenants. The Farazi movement was founded in 1818 by Haji Shariatullah to give up un-Islamic practices and act upon their duties as Muslims. The movement protected the rights of tenants to a great extent. The impact of First World War drew two classes of Indian society into the national movement. Who were they? The correct answer is the peasants or farmers and the businessmen. The First World War forced recruitment of soldiers spread resentment in villages, creating a new economic and political situation by leading to huge expenditure in defense which were to be financed by increasing taxes and raising custom duties. As a result of this, crop failures and spread of influenza epidemic began. It led to widespread hardships. Muslims were disenchanted with the treatment meted out to the Ottoman Empire by the imperial powers. This led to a groundswell of support for non-cooperation. The business classes reacted against policies that restricted their business and taxed them higher. And also the farmers or peasants, as they were being forced into the army, their uh, production fell and as a result they were also disenchanted. Which of the following dispute made Gandhiji to undertake a fast for the very first time? Correct answer is Ahmedabad mill strike. In February, March 1918, there was a situation of conflict between the Gujarat mill owners and the workers on the question of plague bonus of 1970. The mill owners wanted to withdraw the bonus, while the workers demanded a 50% wage hike. Champaran Satyagraha was the first to be started, but the word Satyagraha was used for the first time in which of the following? The correct answer is anti-rollet agitation. So, uh, this happened in uh, 1919 when Gandhiji gave a call for Satyagraha against the Rollet Act passed by the British. That restricted the freedom of expression and strengthened police powers. Mahatma Gandhi, Muhammad Ali Jinnah and others strongly opposed this act. Who among the following was greeted with Hartals when he visited India in November 1921? The correct answer is Prince of Wales. Common people actually boycotted him. Along with this, All India Congress Committee also took a strong stance and decided to boycott the upcoming visit. Uh, Gandhiji sought the filling of prisons with volunteers as organizing volunteer bunds. Which among the following was the most important reason of objection to Simon Commission by Indian Nationals? For the fact that there was no Indian member in Simon Commission is why we objected. The Indian Statutory Commission, commonly referred to as Simon Commission, was a group of seven British members of Parliament under the chairmanship of Sir John Simon. The commission was opposed since it had seven British members of British Parliament and not a single Indian member. Indians saw it as a violation to their right of self-determination and an insult to their self-respect. Prominent Indian nationalist Lala Lajpat Rai led a protest in Lahore and he suffered a police beating during the protest and he succumbed to his injuries and died on 17th November 1928. Buckingham Canal is located in which of the following states in India? The correct answer is both Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The Buckingham Canal is a 420 km long salt water navigation canal running parallel to the Coromandel coast of South India 
from the Vijayawara in Andhra Pradesh to Villupuram district in Tamil Nadu declared National Waterway of India. As you can see on the map, it stretches through both states. Which of the following policies was launched in 1992 just after the end of Cold War following the collapse of the Soviet Union? The correct answer is Look East policy. India's Look East policy was for the first time pursued by Narasimha Rao government in 1992. Under this policy, India focused its attention towards Southeast Asia, which was long neglected during the Cold War period. This policy was further cemented by successive prime ministers and now converted into Act East policy by the current government. With the direction India's foreign policy is taking, this policy becomes more relevant for the upcoming UPSC, SSC and bank examinations. Which of the following is used by RBI to curb borrowing powers of the banks? The correct answer is open market operations. An open market operation is an activity by a central bank to give liquidity in its currency to a bank or a group of banks. India's open market operation is much influenced by the fact that it is a developing country and that the capital flows are very different from those in developed countries. Thus, India's central bank, the Reserve Bank of India, has to make policies and use instruments accordingly. Which of the following is an initiative of European Union that involves the creation of a zone for the euro wherein all electronic payments are considered domestic and a difference between national and intra-European cross-border payments does not exist? The correct answer is single euro payment area. The single euro payment area is a payment integration initiative of the European Union for simplification of bank transfers denominated in euro. Agricultural census is done every how many years? So it's done every five years. Agricultural census forms part of a broader system of collection of agricultural statistics. It is a large scale statistical operation for the collection and derivation of quantitative information about the structure of agriculture in the country. An agricultural operational holding is the ultimate unit for taking decision for development of agriculture at a micro level. Many a time we read in the newspapers about subprime crisis. In simple terms, the subprime crisis was triggered because of the following lending activities of the banks. Correct answer is lending to people who could not return loans. A huge example of it is the global subprime crisis of 2007, which emerged in the US housing mortgage market and gradually snowballed into a global financial crisis, leading to a global economic recession. There was a rapid growth in India's international trade in goods as well as services during this time. Which among the following products have global investment horizon? Correct answer is sovereign wealth funds. A sovereign wealth fund or sovereign investment fund is a state-owned investment fund that invests in uh, real and financial assets such as stocks, bonds, real estate, precious metals, or in alternative investments, such as private equity fund or hedge funds. Sovereign wealth funds invest globally. Which among the following is intended to be a family of standards relating to risk management codified by the International Organization for Standardization or ISO? The correct answer is ISO 31000. ISO 31000 is a family of standards relating to risk management codified by the International Organization for Standardization. The purpose of ISO 31000 of 2009 is to provide principles and genetic guidelines on risk management. ISO 31000 seeks to provide a universal recognized paradigm for practitioners and companies employing risk management processes to replace the myriad of existing standards, methodologies and paradigms that differed between industries, subject matters and regions. So what it basically does is makes it makes risk management globally quantifiable. That is the same standards are applied all over the regions. Which among the following is a monetary policy that centers around the ability to conduct transactions of local financial assets into foreign financial assets freely and that market determined exchange rates? Correct answer is capital account convertibility. Capital account convertibility means the freedom to convert local financial assets into foreign financial assets and vice versa at market determined rates of exchange. 
This implies that capital account convertibility allows anyone to freely move from local currency into foreign currency and back. Which among the following is not an international agreement centered around finance and economic cooperation? Correct answer is Kyoto Protocol. The Kyoto Protocol is an international treaty which extends the 1992 United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change that commits state parties to reduce greenhouse gases of emissions that is based on scientific consensus that global warming is occurring and it is extremely likely that human-made CO2 emissions have predominantly caused it. The Kyoto Protocol was adopted in Kyoto, Japan on 11 December 1997 and entered into force on 16 February 2005. There are currently 192 parties to the protocol. Canada was one country that withdrew from the protocol effective from December 2012. The Bill of Rights and Judicial Review are borrowed from which of the following countries' constitution? The correct answer is USA. In the United States, the United States Bill of Rights comprises the first 10 amendments to the United States Constitution. And the Judicial Review is a process under which executive or legislative actions are subject to review by the judiciary. Same is applicable to India. Civil cases, criminal cases and constitutional cases come under which of the following jurisdiction? Correct answer is appellate jurisdiction. Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal and the writs and decrees of Supreme Court run throughout the country. The cases come to the Supreme Court in the form of appeals against the judgments of the lower courts and this is called appellate jurisdiction. Appellate jurisdiction involves the constitution, civil and criminal matters. Which among the following committees is related to backward classes? The correct answer is Kaka Kalilkar Commission. In 1953, the central government established a backwards classes commission under Kalilkar's chairmanship with the charter to recommend reforms for removing inequities for underprivileged people. The commission issued its report in 1955, recommending, among other things, that the government grant special privileges to untouchables and other underprivileged people. Preservation of seats for scheduled tribes of Nagaland, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh in Lok Sabha was a broad subject of which of the following amendment acts? Correct answer is 57th Amendment Act. The 57th Amendment Act amended Article 332 in 1987 to provide reservation to scheduled tribes in Nagaland, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh legislative assemblies. Who among the following is related to servants of Indian society? The correct answer is Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Servants of India Society was founded in 1915 by Gopal Krishna Gokhale to build a dedicated group of people for social service and reforms in the field of famine relief, union organization, cooperatives and upliftment of tribals and depressed. The society did commendable work. Dr. T. N. Nair is related to which of the following? The correct answer is Justice Party. The Justice Party, officially the South Indian Liberation Federation, was a political party in the Madras Presidency of British India. It was established in on November 20, 1960 in Victoria Memorial Hall in Madras by T. M. Nair and P. Chetty as a result of a series of non-Brahmin conferences and meetings in the Presidency. Communal division between Brahmins and non-Brahmins began in the presidency during the late 19th and early 20th century, mainly due to caste prejudices and disproportionate Brahminical representation in government jobs. The Justice Party's foundation marked the culmination of several efforts to establish an organization to represent the non-Brahmins in Madras and is seen as the start of the Dravidian movement. With which of the following countries National People's Congress is related? Correct answer is China. The National People's Congress is the national legislature of the People's Republic of China with 2,980 members in 2018. It is the largest parliamentary body in the world. Arrange Himachal Pradesh, Manipur, Kerala, Maharashtra in correct chronological order of creation. Correct answer is Kerala, which was created in 1956, followed by Maharashtra, created in 1960. Himachal Pradesh created in 1970 and finally Manipur in 1971. In which year Andhra Pradesh was created? Correct answer is 1956. The Congress in its Jaipur session appointed a three-member committee also popularly known as JVP committee 
after the name of his leaders Jawaharlal Nehru, Vallabhbhai Patel and Pattabhai Sitaramaiah. The committee rejected language as the base of reorganization of states. Sridharamulu, one of the activists demanding the formation of Telugu majority state, died on 16 December 1952 after undertaking a fast unto death. This resulted in the creation of the first state on linguistic basis for Telugu speaking people called Andhra state on October 1st 1953. It was later reorganized as Andhra Pradesh in 1956. The success of Vardoli Satyagraha gave rise to which one of the greatest leaders of the independence struggle. The correct answer is Sardar Patel. The momentum from the Vardoli victory aided in the resurrection of the freedom struggle nationwide. In 1930 the Congress would declare Indian independence and the Salt Satyagraha would be launched by Mahatma Gandhi. It was after Bardoli that Sardar Patel became one of India's most important leaders with all the controversy around the Statue of Unity this question is quite relevant in the current UPSC PSCs and SSC examinations Pedal transport by river sand drift over desert surfaces soil blowing over fields are example of which of the following phenomena The correct answer is saltation In geology saltation is a specific type of particle transport by fluids such as wind or water it occurs when loose materials are removed from a bed and carried by the fluid before being transported back to the surface which among the following sentences is true among the given options the correct answer is amorphous is an inorganic fertilizer while urea is a organic fertilizer amorphous is a highly concentrated fertilizer comprising nitrogen and phosphor mainly in a water soluble composition Urea is a nitrogenous compound containing a carbonyl group attached to two amine groups with osmotic diuretic activity. Which among the following is correct full form of DDT? The correct answer is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. So, a uh, DDT commonly is a colorless, tasteless and almost odorless crystalline chemical compound. It's an organochlorine originally developed as an insecticide and ultimately becoming infamous for its environmental impacts cobalt oxide is used to impart which color to glass the correct answer is blue this is also known as cobalt glass which is also popularly known as smalt when it is ground as pigment it is a deep blue colored glass prepared by including a cobalt compound typically cobalt oxide or cobalt carbonate in a glass melt Cobalt is a very intense glass colorant and very little is required to show a noticeable amount of color. Which of the following reserves holds the unfortunate distinction of becoming the first tiger reserve in India to lose all its wild tigers to poaching and forest degradation? The correct answer is Sariska. Sariska Tiger Reserve is a national park and tiger reserve located in Alwar district of the state of Rajasthan. It has an area of 866 km square comprising scrub thorn arid forests dry deciduous forests grasslands and rocky hills Headquarters of World Anti-Doping Agency or WADA is located where Correct answer is Montreal WADA was established in Lausanne in November 1999 and it shifted to Montreal in 2001 National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme and Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan were introduced in which of the following plans Correct answer is in Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan in 9th 5 year plan and National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme in 10th 5 year plan So Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan was launched towards the end of the 9th plan to achieve the goal of UEE through a time bound integrated approach in partnership with the states and NREGA was launched on February 2, 2006 in 200 most backward districts in the first phase and was expanded to 330 districts in the second phase the remaining 266 districts have been notified on September 28 2007 where the scheme came into effect from April 1 2008 Shangri-La is an annual meeting which gets its name from the Shangri-La Hotel in Singapore where it is held this meeting is held uh, since 2002 and is related to which of the following the correct answer being defense this is a defense related uh, meeting the iiss shangri la dialogue is asia's premier defense summit a unique meeting of ministers and delegates 
Each year's agenda is internationally wide ranging, reflecting the many defense and security challenges facing a large and diverse region. The 2019 summit will take place on 31st May to 2nd June, which is why this topic is quite relevant for the upcoming UPSC, PSC, and SSC examinations. International Day of the World's Indigenous People is observed on which date every year? Correct answer is August 9. The International Day of World's Indigenous People is observed on August 9 each year to promote and protect the rights of the world's indigenous population. This event also recognizes the achievements and contributions that indigenous people make to improve world issues such as environmental protection. Which among the following is the country's first greenfield airport developed under the public-private partnership initiative? Correct answer is Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, which is the international airport that serves Hyderabad, which is the capital of the Indian state of Telangana. It is located in Shamshabad, about 24 kilometers south of Hyderabad. During the reign of which of the following, some Yavans or Greeks were converted to the Vaishnava cult? Correct answer is Shungas. So there were some Greek people who converted to Vaishnav faith. Uh, among them was Heliodorus, who is presumably not the only one, but he is the only one who erected a column and uh, that is still existing today. The earliest epigraphic evidence for the existence of the Bhagavata cult is found in Madhya Pradesh, which is the Garura pillar inscription of Besnagar. It was erected by whom? Correct answer is Heliodorus. It is also known as the Heliodorus pillar and it is a stone column that was erected around 113 BCE. Um, it is by Heliodorus, who is an Indo-Greek ambassador of the Indo-Greek king Antiochus in Taxila to the court of the Shunga king Bhagabhadra. Who among the following is considered to organize a confederacy of 10 tribes or kings against Sudas? Correct answer is Vishwamitra. The battle of 10 kings was fought between Sudas, a Bharat king of the Titsu family and the confederacy of 10 well-known tribes Puru, Yadu, Turvasa, Anu, Druhu, Alina, Pakta, Bhalana, Shiva and Vishani. In the bloody and decisive battle on the banks of the river Purushni, the Bharatas emerged victorious. The reason uh, behind the war was the rivalry between Vishwamitra and Vashishta. Which among the following is incorrect regarding Kushanas? Among these options, option C which states the ancestors of Kushanas were easternmost speakers of Indo-Greek languages is wrong. As for Chinese sources, the Kushanas, who are mentioned as Gushuang in Chinese texts, were one of the five tribes of uh, Yuchi or Yuzi. Kushanas were also known as Tokarians. They uh, were nomadic tribes and easternmost speakers of the Indo-European languages, which were called Tokarian languages. Meander, who was an Indo-Greek king, accepted which of the following religions? Correct answer is Buddhism. Before becoming a Buddhist, Meander asked Nagasena many questions relating to Buddhism. These questions and Nagasena's answers are recorded in the form of a book known as Milinda Panho or the Questions of Milind. Which among the following are correct about Chola King Rajendra Chola 1? Correct option is A, which says he built a temple for Shiva at Gangai Konda Cholapuram. Uh, Tanjor Brihatswara temple was created by Rajendra Chola 1 and that is the Shiva temple we are mentioning here. Which among the following sentences is incorrect about Rajadhi Raja Chola 1? The incorrect option here is C which says that he assumed the title of Parakesari. Parakesari and Yuddhamalla were the titles of Rajendra 1. Rajadhi Raja Chola assumed the title of Raja Kesari. Which among the following is incorrect about Devdasis? Devdasi system came into existence during Vijayanagar era is not the correct uh, fact. So Devdasis in parts of southern and eastern India were yoginis or young women who dedicated their life to worship and service of Hindu deity or a temple. Devdasis could be as young as 7 years old when they were initiated into this way of life. So kind of like a Hindu nun. 
the regions where the Aryans settled in India uh, was called Sapta Sindhu, which was pronounced as Hapt Hindu as well, which uh, was the other term used for this area. Correct answer is Brahmavarta. So, the Hindu religious text Manusmriti describes Brahmavarta as the region between the river Saraswati and Rishadwati in India. The text defines the area as the place where the good people are born with goodness being dependent on location rather than behavior. The name has been translated in various ways including holy land, sacred land, abode of gods and the scene of creation. Which among the following is incorrect regarding the early Vedic religion? Correct answer here is the people used to worship of uh, because of spiritual reasons. This is not correct. They used to worship for welfare of Praja and Pashu. Which of the following two countries have largest electrified railway networks in the world? The correct answer is Russia and China. In case of Russia, the Trans-Siberian Railways uh, span a length of almost 10,000 kilometers and is the longest and one of the busiest railway lines in the world. Rail transport is an important mode of long distance transportation for the people in China as well and it has almost 121,000 km of railways and the second longest network in the world. Which of the following rivers make the eastern border of France? Correct answer is Rhine. Rhine flows through Switzerland, West Germany and Netherlands and forms the eastern border of France. Through which of the following pass the river Satluj enters India from Tibet? The correct answer is Shipkila. Shipkila is a mountain pass and a border post with a dozen buildings of significant size on the India-China border. The river, river Satluj, which is called Langhin Zangbo in Tibet, enters India near this pass. The road is an offshoot of the ancient Silk Road. Saddle Peak National Park is located in which of the following Union territories? Correct answer is Andaman and Nicoba. So, uh, the four, there are four main national parks in Andaman. Mahatma Gandhi Marine, Mount Harriet, Rani Jhansi Marine and Saddle Peak National Parks. Nicobas have two areas notified as national parks and an area in Great Nicobar designated as the Great Nicobar uh, Biosphere Reserve within the area of 96 uh, 960.40 km square in great nicobar island 110 km square is galathia national park situated on the southeast of the island on the east coast an area of 476.73 km square is notified as the campbell bay national park which among the following rivers does not flow into arabian sea among the given options only Godavari does not flow into the uh, Arabian Sea. So, uh, Narmada, Tapi, Sabarmati open into Arabian Sea. Godavari empties into Bay of Bengal through its extensive network of tributaries. Which among the following rivers rises from the Milam Glacier in Kumau Himalaya? Correct answer is Gori Ganga. The principal source of Gori Ganga is Pithoragar district of Uttarakhand in the Milam Glacier near Nanda Devi. Which among the following is the only tributary river of Ganga that rises in the plains and not in the hills? Correct answer is Gomti. Gomti, Gomti or Gomati river is a tributary of Ganges. According to Hindu mythology, the river is the daughter of Hindu sage Vashisht. Bathing in Gomti on Ekadashi can wash away sins according to Hindu mythology. Which among the following is known as Dr. Wind? Correct answer is Harmattan. Harmattan or uh, Dr. Wind is an easterly or northeasterly wind that blows in West Africa and Tropic of Cancer. Which among the following type of soil has the largest area covered in India? Correct answer is alluvial soil. Alluvial soils are depositional soils transported by rivers and are predominantly the type of soil in the northern plains of the country, widespread in the Ganga plains and the river valleys. These soils cover about 40% of the total area of India and have largest area covered in India. Zawar mines are located in which state? Correct answer is Rajasthan. Zawar is a settlement located in Udaipur district of Rajasthan, India, approximately 40 km from the lake city of Udaipur. It stretches some 10 km along the banks of the Gomti River. It is close to Dhebal Lake, India's second largest artificial lake after Govind Vallabh. Sagar Dam. 
It is one of the oldest zinc mines of the world. It's declared as National Geological Monument. Prezapine is an example of which kind of drug? The correct answer is tranquilizer. Prezapine is an adrenergic blocking agent used to treat mild to moderate hypertension via the disruption of non-epinephrine vascular storage. The antihypertensive actions of rezepine are a result of its ability to deplete catecholamines from peripheral sympathetic nerve endings. Phenophthalin is used in chemistry as a what? It's used as a dye. Phenophthalin is a chemical compound with the formula C20H14O4 and it's often written as HLN or PHPH in shorthand notation. Phenethylin is often used as an indicator in acid-based titrations. For this application, it turns colorless in acidic solutions and pink in basic solutions. Calcium magnesium silicate is commonly known as what? Correct answer is asbestos. Asbestos is a set of six naturally occurring silicate minerals which all have in common their asbesti form habit. So, in this case, calcium magnesium silicate, you can uh, probably you have seen that asbestos is used as a roofing material in our country. Uh, it's a substitute for metal. Which among the following is true about solubility of lipids? The correct answer is they are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents. So a lipid is a chemically defined as, as a substance that is insoluble in water and soluble in alcohol, ether and chloroform. Lipids are an important component of living cells. Together with carbohydrates and proteins, lipids are the main constituents of plant and animal cells. Cholesterol and triglycerides are lipids. Who among the following decides the foreign policy of India? So it is the Council of Ministers, uh, so the Ministry of External Affairs of India, which is also known as the Foreign Ministry, is the government agency responsible for the conduct of foreign relations of India. In which year was Manipur and Tripura turned into full-fledged states of India? Correct answer is 1972. Following the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971, the Indian government reorganized the Northeast region to ensure effective control of the international borders. Three new states came into existence on 21st January 1972. Other than Manipur and Tripura, Meghalaya was the third state. Safeguarding the public property, developing scientific temper and promoting communal harmony come under which of the following? Correct answer is fundamental duties. The fundamental duties of Indians is defined as the moral obligations of all citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of India. Which among the following are considered essential for the realization of the highest good of India citizens? Correct answer is fundamental rights. The six fundamental rights recognized by the Indian constitution are right to equality, cultural and educational right, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion and finally right to constitutional remedies. Part 4a of our constitution is related to what? Uh, so, part 4a of the constitution uh, sets out fundamental duties that concern individuals and the nation. So, the correct answer is fundamental duties. Which of the following Sikh Guru collected all the work of previous Gurus and dictated it in the form of verses? Correct answer is Guru Arjun Dev. Guru Arjun was the first of the two Gurus martyred in the Sikh faith and the fifth of the ten total Sikh Gurus. He compiled the first official edition of the Sikh scripture called the Adi Granth, which later expanded into the Guru Granth Sahib. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.